everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Katya. I'm gonna make a cake today. So we're gonna make a German style cake, which is like a sponge cake, but it actually contains quark, which is not very common in Ireland. Okay, you can actually buy it in Tesco. I got some. Um, it's a cake that is made in a tin like this. Okay, so the ingredients we need for this cake are 250 gram of soft butter. So what I already did, I already put the butter into the uh, pot to heat it up a little bit. I also preheated my oven. The oven needs to have um, 100 and between 160 and 180 degrees, um, which I just turned on literally like a minute ago, as you can see. And what else you need is um, flour. 250 gram of flowers, which are already measured. You need a hundred milliliter of milk. You need two um, spoons of baking powder, which I have here. You need four eggs, so I have my eggs. You also need sugar, which is 200 grams. It also says, because it is a German recipe, that you need vanilla, sugar, vanilla uh, powder, which I bought this one here. It's in the polar shop. Um, it's a powder, you can make like a pudding out of it, okay? And you also need a little bit of lemon, okay? So you can use fresh lemon or I just have the lemon juice. I, I just don't have a lemon. So anyway, the, and then you just need a little bit of icing sugar later on for um, decorating. So it says in the recipe to um, actually the cake tin, you don't need to put any butter into it. You just um, rinse it with cold water, which I'm a little bit skeptic about because I never used um, a cake tin, which I never buttered before or used any baking powder. But I'm just gonna follow it and see um, how it works and hopefully the cake won't stick to it. So it says to rinse it with cold water. So I'm just gonna do that for now, okay? And it says after you rinse it, basically leave it wet and that's it, put it to the side. So anyway, I did that. Okay, it's a non-stick um, baking tin as well. So anyway, so I'm gonna get myself a little bowl. And we're gonna start mixing stuff. Okay, so I just use a bowl. So the butter, the sugar, and the salt needs to be mixed. So I'm just gonna put the sugar into the bowl, okay? So there we have the sugar, then the butter, and a little bit of salt. Salt. We're just gonna put a little bit into it. So, you know, just like a teeny tiny bit, like whatever you feel like. Add the butter as well, bit by bit, because the butter needs to be soft. And we just mix it. Obviously the butter needs to be very soft for it. But that takes a few minutes. Yeah, so once everything is mixed here, okay, you just add um, the eggs a little bit one by one and a little bit of lemon, okay? So I already have the eggs separated here. So I just put one for now. And I'm gonna keep on mixing it. Just to mix it with the sugar. And the butter. And I'm gonna keep on doing that until all the eggs are in it. So you basically need four eggs. And I will also add some lemon. It's very hard to do this with like one hand. Just to mix it properly. 
I'll show you now in a second as well what that looks like. this is what it looks like at the moment okay um, just from the eggs and everything that's added into it okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we have a separate bowl we put the flour the vanilla powder and the baking powder and mix it together okay what I've learned from baking is that I always sift everything okay so I put this through a sift which is the flour the baking powder, so it's uh, I can't open it. No, so baking powder, so we need two teaspoons. together now after we mix, mix both mixtures okay they go together which I did now here in the bowl and then we still have the milk and the quark left so basically we have to put both of them separately a little bit under so I put a little bit of crack and I just mix it okay with my spoon just to make a to mixture fluffy and light and delicious and then I go in with a little bit of milk again the same thing just mix it under very subtle mm. The mixture already looks delicious. I might just put it in here so you can see more. Okay. A little bit more Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Best Coca-Cola ever. Try it now and decide. I need to try it first. Seems really easy for patients. We want every patient who comes into our clinic to feel that the team that are there care for them, healing that patient in a holistic mm. sense. So the right so person sees the patient. That at the gets right very time. fluffy and so light. It's a really exciting opportunity to be able to offer. That and I put the rest of the crack. My name is Linda Keevney, and I'm the clinical director for the BHI 360 Health Centre in Limerick. The new BHI 360 Health Centre Limerick now open. Search BHI 360. No. This looks like it's nearly fluffed up enough. So we have our tin here, still okay, which was only rinsed with water. And we're gonna start filling that consistency into the tin. Obviously, we go around a little bit, make sure everything goes in. 
grocery shop of 50 euro or more. How long have I got? 30 seconds. Okay, there's an amazing offer for SkyQ I have to tell you about. Imagine so. having all of Sky TV, new originals, and box sets, together with all of Netflix. Plus, you get Spotify, YouTube, and Catch Up TV like RTE Player. Sky Q has everything you love in one place. It just makes life easy. Well, when you everything think, goes in. Sky 30 to find out more. Use Sky TV customers only. Set up fees, minimum term, and first term. the big three week stay in the coma. Number two was the nerve damage diagnosis. Three, 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 and then your lessons. Do that. Everything is distributed properly. Okay. Hear more at antiviralireland.com. Supported by the Government of Ireland. It's mm. almost four okay. I'm telling you. The taste of it is already delicious. And now I show you now what it looks like. So this goes now into the oven for about 45 minutes. Okay. Put it in the oven. The oven is preheated. And obviously we have to watch it. So there in it goes. And we're gonna have to wait 45 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer and I'll come back to you when it's ready. Hello and welcome back everyone. So the cake was in the oven now for about 45 minutes. You obviously have to check and just see and stick a needle in to see if nothing sticks to it. Otherwise, um, just leave it in for a bit longer or less like in between. So this is what it looks like, okay. It is still a tiny bit warm, but I'm still gonna try and um, see if it comes out, okay? So, um, you're supposed to let it cool down, but um, yeah, like I said. So, I have like um, a cake um, tin here. So, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna do this, okay? And see, and fingers crossed, moment of truth. And see if it comes out. So, we're gonna have to. Ah, okay so perfectly it came out okay nothing really stuck to it so I show you now it's like and um, this is what it looks like um, mm, it smells absolutely delicious I can still see a bit of smoke so I'm still gonna leave it for a few more minutes when it's completely um, co um, cold I'm gonna put some icing sugar on it but there's no point at the moment because the icing sugar is just going to melt into the cake. So we're just going to give it a few more minutes to let it cool down. Hello. So the cake is finally ready and I finally put some icing sugar. And the moment of truth, we're going to cut it and we're going to see how it tastes. So this is the cake now. And I have my knife here. And we're just going to cut a slice and see what it looks like. It smells absolutely delicious. So this is what it looks like absolutely moist and lovely so mm. it is very moist and very beautiful um definitely recommend making that very very easy very soft um so yeah so this was my recipe for my sponge cake with quack. Um, follow me for more recipes on YouTube. If you want, subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.